Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Kim and this is day four of my food bank box challenge. Now I have decided tonight we're going to eat white bean chicken chili just from the items that we received in the box. I honestly, this, this tomatoes that we have here with the chilies smells a bit spicy. May need to add a little chili powder but or cumin, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so far I have two packages of the chicken that I cut into a little bit smaller pieces here. They were, they're kind of big pieces. I have one can of tomato soup so far, one can of the chilies, diced tomatoes with green chilies, and then the tomato soup. And then I have my Great Northern White Beans, okay? So the first thing I did was I took my beans and I strained off the liquid. I'm going to talk about this in a minute because this is something that you might be able to find very, very handy in your kitchen. But we'll talk about that in just a minute here. All right, so I have my pan. This is going to be a, a thrown together easy dinner tonight. I'm going to add my tomatoes, my soup. I'm going to probably have to add some water with that. We shall see. Now my sassy dogs are going to start up here. Everything's going to depend on how thick you like your stuff here. I'm just going to mix it up because I'm pretty sure it's going to need some water. So I'm going to add, so far that's half a can of water from the tomato soup. I'm going to start adding my chicken. For some reason this just looks like an awful lot of chicken to add in here. But we shall see. You can always add more, right? That's about half of what I chopped up. So honestly, that is pretty close to the consistency. I like my chili. All right, once this warms through, then I'm gonna start tasting for seasonings and I will season it up. But that's gonna be our dinner tonight. Now, I wanted to talk about that bean juice that I saved, okay? Basically, I strained off the liquid from the white beans. Now, if you haven't heard of it before, there's something called aqua faba, and I'll put that name down below. Aqua faba is a vegan and vegetarian substitute for a lot of different things. I have used this extensively in baking. You can use it in place of an egg. Two to three tablespoons of this liquid will substitute for an egg when you're doing something like baking. And I'm going to look at a few other things. I haven't tried them yet, but I heard you could do like whipped cream out of it um, and a few other things. So since I have the liquid, I thought it would be fun to try to do a couple of those little experiments to see what we can get. Now, when using this in place of an egg for something like baking, you just want to mix it together with a fork pretty good. If I do it through a strainer. You saw I had my beans sitting in the strainer. It takes out all the little bits of the beans. Typically, this is mostly chickpeas that people use, but I've done it with other white beans as an egg replacement. Three tablespoons for a whole egg, two tablespoons for an egg white, okay? Then, if you want, say, something like a waffle or Anything that, like I do my pancakes with the bananas, where you want a whipped egg, then you can whip it a little bit to get it similar to one of those whipped eggs. And I'm going to try that here. We'll start it. It's, they say it takes some time, but I have my little whisk attachment on my little thing here. Okay, I'm going to make it so you don't have to listen to the noise. All right, it's starting to get some texture now. In order to get it to really stiffen up, you add some cream of tartar. Now, I'm, this is the first time for me, guys. I haven't done it to this point. I've only used it as an egg replacement in baking, so let's give it a try. Quarter teaspoon cream of tartar, and you're supposed to be able to bring it up to like a whipped cream. Look at that. It's actually starting to look a bit like cream. It's too, still too thin, but boy, that could be a cream substitute. All right, it is starting to hold some. It's like a soft peak. This is where I would put, put it into muffins or 
pancakes or something. I'm afraid to do it too much more. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, but I'm going to go another couple minutes and see what happens. Oh, you guys, look at that. It's starting to hold its shape. There you go. You can make it into whipped cream. I would add, obviously, some sugar to it, but it does whip up. I think I'm going to save this and use it for my next batch of pancakes. There you go. They say it will, it will make stiff peaks, but they won't hold. And that's probably the best I'm going to get. Well, if I keep trying to go, it's going to come out of my little container here. But that is aquafaba. That's the juice from any kind of white beans. And save it to use as an egg substitute. There you go. Something else to save out of things that we normally throw away. Okay, you guys. This is the next morning from when you saw me working with the aquafaba. And I took a third cup of that whipped stuff and I decided to make some pancakes. I don't think they look any different than any other pancake I've ever made. Instead of the egg, I used that aquafaba whip that I made. They seem to be pretty fluffy. Let's see if they taste any different. Not really. I don't taste any difference, so there you go. One way, if you're short on eggs, you can save a little bit of money or using aquafaba from your canned beans. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the link below, and have a wonderful day.